Alrighty then. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. So today, a lot of you have been requesting it in the past, so I thought I'd go ahead and do a tutorial on her since the new Descendants 2 is going to be up and coming and being released on the Disney Channel. I thought it'd be fun to go ahead and draw Mal. Now this is Mal from, I do believe, The Wicked World, so I guess they did a cartoon or something. But yes, it looks pretty easy and it looks fun, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'd like to do, I will always like to go ahead and just draw out the head first. This is how I do every single character. I just do the basic head. And then I like to go in and fill everything in later. So I'm going to go ahead and designate my eye line. And since this is a three quarter view, that means our nose line is going to be pretty close to over here. Place my eyes. So I know I have one eye that's kind of off to the side over here and just leave a little bit of space from the eye and the side of the face over here. So I'm just going to lightly make the sunflower shape like it's tucked in the corner. And then we see more of this eye over here. So we're going to jump over just a little bit of, of some space. I'm going to go right about here. And I'm going to make that sunflower shape once again. That's When I say sunflower, I mean sunflower seed kind of looks like a sunflower seed before it's chopped down to its kernel. Alright, now that's just a basic way to go ahead and lay out eyes. Now I'm going to go ahead and lay out where I want my nose to go. So I'm gonna, her nose is just a little bit right here, so I'm going to go ahead and just put a circle right here. I jump off to the side and define her face just a little bit more. So here's her forehead. I'm going to bring this out just a little bit. And then bring out her cheek and then go into her chin, which is very pointy at the bottom. And I'm just gonna leave that there for now, but that defines it just a little bit more for us. Now let's go ahead and start filling in some details. So what I wanna do first is I'm gonna jump up here to her eyelid. Give her a little definition there. And now for her pupil and iris, it's tucked all the way in the corner of this eye because she's looking off to the side. So that means her iris is all the way over here and then her pupil will be right there. Now I want to go ahead and define her eyelashes a little bit more. So she has super thick eyelashes. She has super thick bottom and top eyelashes. So the super thick is going to go all the way over here and they're, act they're not feathery, they're in huge clumps. So she's got about four and then super thick and then a couple more eyelashes at the bottom. And then I'm going to go ahead and fill in her pupil. Then I want to go ahead and jump over to this eye and I want to go ahead and keep this shape but I want to define the eyelash line first since we can see more of her eyelash line. So I'm going to go up here, bring this down, and then I'm going to go underneath. And then I'm going to make her pupil iris is all the way over here, like she's looking off to the side. And we see a little bit of white space here. And there's her pupil iris area. And here's her pupil. Um, I don't see any shines in her eyes in this reference, but I'm just gonna put some shines in her eyes anyways. Her eyes are green, so I'm gonna put a shine there, and I'm gonna put a shine there. Go ahead and fill up the pupil. Now I'm going to define her eyelashes a little bit more, so I'm, they're, they're not feathery, they're just in clumps, and they're just very spiky looking, just that villainish look, even though she's not, oh, spoiler alert, she's not really a villain, but, <laughs> anyways, I don't know about the sentence too. 
So we got one eyelash here and then one eyelash right here. And then I'm gonna jump down here and define these eyelashes just a little bit more. And then her eyelid, I'm gonna go up over that eyelash line, go up and then down. And she's not really wearing any makeup, that's about it. She has like a little bit of purple accent, but nothing too crazy. Give her one eyebrow going off to the side not too thick, not too weird, and then we have one eyebrow right here, but eventually her bangs are going to cover up that eyebrow. Now for her nose, I'm just not going to touch the eye. I'm going to go ahead and bring down the nose ridge starting from my eyebrow. Bring this down, go out this way. I'll just make like a backwards L and then just a little bit of a nostril area and this the nose flap there we go let's go ahead and clear up a couple of guidelines next what I'd like to do is go ahead and give her her lips so right below her nose you're gonna make like a little bird when I say bird it's like the birds that we used to make on our beach portraits when we were little so we make a little bit of a bird, so this side is going to go out this way and curve. And then this side is going to go out this way, just a little bit upwards. Not too close to the side of the mouth. Now Mal's not really wearing any lipstick. She's just got natural, like a natural shade of lips. So what we're going to do is we're going to lightly color above the bird the first top. I'm just going to color it, keep that same shape of the bird, and then underneath. So we don't want her to make like a, she's a floating head, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump down below her chin and give her one side of her neck here. And then jump over here and give her the side of her neck over here as well. So now for her bangs, I'm going to just start from up here, just a little bit above where we made our original headline. Bring over. These bangs. Now I'm going to jump on top of here. where we made that first curve and start to bring this side of her hair down. So we have this and then this and then I'm going to jump back just a little bit and then bring down this side and then she has really straight hair, nothing curly so it's just going to go straight down and then we have another, so we have this section of hair this section of hair and then another section of hair that's just kind of tucked off to the side but that's dividing up the sections of hair so let's focus on the bangs first I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into here make a little section there and they're all going this way We have this section that's going to go this way that's curled inwards towards her face. And this is going to go that down. And this side of her hair is going to go past her shoulders. And we're just going to make a couple of clumps. And it's all, like, all of her hair is pushed forward because of her collar. It's very similar to Maleficent's collar. And then I'm going to bring out this side. And 
And I'm gonna go across the back behind her neck and bring out this section of hair and this section of hair. And then I'm gonna go ahead and bring out this side over here. And bring out this side. She doesn't have really have strands of hair. She she does have strands of hair, but it's all like broken up into purples because her hair is purple and it has different shades of purple like dark purple, light purple, lilac, and a couple of white highlights, darker highlights. So that's something if you choose to color, go in and shade in with different purples. The next thing I'd like to do is go ahead and she has like a turtle, it's not a turtleneck, but it's definitely like wrapped around her neck. So we have this section of her shirt. And then back over here, that collar, we're gonna go ahead and bring out this side, bring it down. And then over here, we're just gonna kind of like match it up to the side so you know that it's even. Bring out this side, make that flat. And it's going to line up with her hair going inwards. And then this one will be going down. I'm just going to draw through her hair. And then we're going to go ahead and close off this collar off to the side. And this is actually going to connect to right there. So we have this big pink flap. And now I'm going to go ahead and draw another pink flap going outwards. And then this in here is a Nesh material. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make that Nesh material. And we have another solid black piece. So this is solid black and this is solid black. So I'll go ahead and color those in. Finish making my Nesh material. Nesh mesh, however you say it. So after that, I'm gonna go ahead and bring out her chest off to the side. Over here, underneath the flap of her collar, we're gonna go ahead and give her her dragon shoulder pads. So we're gonna go, it's gonna go out this way, go down, and this way. And then when she has another, bring this down, out this way, and into this, sh this shoulder pad. And this goes underneath. And then we have her arm. And then the rest of her body, we have her arm inside the shoulder pad. And it curves inward. And then it'll go out. So this curves inward and down. And then her other shoulder pads, off to the side, it's just gonna go outwards and then back in and down under here and back in and then her arm is just kind of off to the side over here but this part of her jacket let's go ahead and define at least a couple of these jackets her jacket is just extremely complicated because that's what makes Mel as Maleficent as she can get so I'm gonna bring down that zipper I believe bring this down So we have a flap here, we have her collar here, and then we have her shirt. So this is her shirt, the collar, and the flap. And this one has more of like a tentacle texture on it, so I'm gonna go ahead and draw a couple of those circles on because it looks like tentacles. For her arm, because it is in a sleeve, it's in a tight sleeve, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just make it lumpy but it's not it's not that her arm is lumpy it's just that I want to show that it is fabric so I'm gonna go ahead and just define it a little bit 
Same with over here to where we can't really see her arm, but I'm going to go ahead define that and the same for over here I want to kind of define her shirt just a little bit and define it down here below and since this is a zipper and this is a zipper I'm just gonna go ahead and give it little itty bitty circles that's like half circles but it gives it that texture that it is a zipper underneath here. Another thing you want to do is give her a little bit of rosy cheeks so I'm just gonna go ahead and lightly shade in right here and then lightly shade in right here as well. And I'm just gonna use my fingertip because I don't have a q-tip or shading stick near me so that's good enough and I'm actually gonna shade underneath her nose. A little bit of dimension and like I said she doesn't really have eyeshadow on but she has like a little bit of purple accent around her eyelid so I'm just gonna lightly shade that in I'm gonna fill in her eyebrow just a little bit more even though most of her bangs are covering up her eyebrow And there you go there's a quick easy way how to draw Mal this actually right here this section of her sleeve is actually green so surprise but at least you know what's pink and what's purple I know it gets confusing with her entire outfit and then of course her hair is a darker purple than this shade of purple that's already on her outfit so yes guys I hope you enjoyed this uh, what would you like to do next would you like to do Evie Carlos Jay we can do them all they're all fun and of course in honor of Descendants 2 that's being released pretty soon but yes I hope you guys have a most wonderful day I hope this was fun and easy and I'll see you all later. Bye!